This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the all-time coolest sounding recipe ever, the rum keg. This recipe can be made, it was originally probably a punch bowl or a keg, something large, big. But reduce the ingredients by half and created something that I can have for show and not get really messed up. Well, it would be wasted. It would be wasted. You wouldn't be wasted. The alcohol would be wasted. One of the two will occur. So in order to avoid that, Tone it down a bit. We had to split every ingredient by half. So double it if you want to make the original recipe. This recipe was submitted by Billy. Two and a half ounces of light rum. That would be your killer because um, you'd end up with five. So two and a half ounces of light rum, a half ounce of dark rum, a half ounce of apricot brandy, a half ounce of passion fruit syrup, yeah. one ounce of pineapple juice, two ounces of sweet sour. First off, love sweet sour. Drink it straight. Kind of give your belly ache after a while, but it's good. Pineapple juice, one of my favorite juices. Besides that of passion fruit juice. It's like a marriage of awesome. Plus, dark rum. We're using Crucian Black Strap, like Crucian. Also, big fan of the Black, the black Seal. Um, silver rum, silver rum, uh, which is Tommy Bahama. And of course, apricots in your brandy. Awesome. So what we're gonna do, strain, ooh, garnish, cherry with the umbrella. I'm gonna throw it in a highball glass, because it's a rum keg. It's going to go in whatever it manages to fit. I don't know if everything can be contained within there, but we can strain out what we need. You cannot contain me. You cannot contain me. Violet hold. Yep. <sighs> Sorry. World of Warcraft thing. No, I cannot be contained. Sorry. Same difference. No. No. Different. It's different wording. Same words. There's your dark, like molassesy brown sugar. Of course, the two and a half ounces of light rum is just to uh, add emphasis to the name. Rum keg. It's like if you had a keg of rum, how could you make it taste better than awful? You add all these other ingredients. Now, not saying I'm not a fan of rum. A little like a single barrel of steak from Cruisin wouldn't be bad, but to drink straight silver, <clears throat> I could do it, but it's not nearly as much fun. All right, now we're gonna do our two ounces of sweet sour and uh, one ounce, two ounces of sweet sour, that's a lot. One ounce of pineapple juice. A lot of ingredients in here, huh? I think all of them fairly, whoa, fairly obtainable. Yep, there's a reason why it's no pants Friday. If you drink this, you take off your pants. Yeah. Well, not you, but you take them you off and you streak the, the quad. You. Oh, I take my pants off every Friday, at least once a day. And that's when the cops show up. <laughs> or you go to bed. All right. Okay. I'm just picturing like every Friday, Derek. What are you doing again? Get back in the house. Put your pants on. Like, yeah, oh, it's called the again. cops again. Yep. The Derek's neighbors. Derek's running around the neighborhood. Derek's in. running around the neighborhood naked. I hate when that happens. All right. It's enough ice in there. I think this is still enough to make a lot more. Yeah. You get a healthy dose of awesome still in here. Time to get obnoxious. Just a bit. 
perfect. That screams tiki. Oh, yes. I could just look at this all day. You can even see the little bits of, of uh, the, the freshly squeezed sweet sour mix in there. <sighs> Smells like maraschino cherries. cherries. <laughs> Pineapple juice. Passion fruit. Oh. Whoa. It's kind of got sweet. Lots of like brown sugar, passion fruit, tropical flavor, which I'm going to guess is a contribution to the, the citrus and the pineapple, which the citrus isn't playing as big of a role as I would have thought. <laughs> Even a little apricot. Really though, the big play here it's the Crucian Black Strap Rum or Dark Rum because it's got that like sweet, dark molasses like flavor. Good. On top of that, then you layer some passion fruit and a little sour and a little sweet and a little dance. This is a pretty good cocktail. Does it beat the cocktail from yesterday? The Yellow Star? Different. Completely different. Rum based, gin based. If I was stuck on a tropical island and I had rum and gin and I could only make two cocktails, it would be these two cocktails because it's got passion fruit and awesomeness in it. I don't know. Rum swizzle is pretty good. It is. But this is better. I think. Does that have ginger? I like ginger too. I don't remember. Either case, if I was stuck on an island, I'd bring all those ingredients. And I could make enough drinks for maybe a month and then I'd be screwed. Unless there was a, a truck that always delivered the same ingredients. But that's kind of a fantasy. So, everydaydrinkers.tv. Who's fantasy? It's a fantasy. It's just a weird one. <laughs> We're teaching you how to drink.